that we need to correct historical wrongs. Just no different than we do with many other criminals in this country when, when the facts prove they were innocent. Louis Riel is innocent, and we need to correct that. 135 years after his execution, there's a growing chorus of calls to exonerate Métis leader Louis Riel. Right now, Riel is a tried and convicted criminal for high treason. And we take great exception to that. It's time to exon it's the time to just deal with that. And until we do that, how do you even talk about reconciliation? Riel is considered the founding father of Manitoba. He led two rebellions against the Canadian government, fighting for Métis rights. Despite being elected to the House of Commons three times, he was never able to take his seat, living in exile in the United States. Most people don't understand. He negotiated Manitoba into Canada in 1869-1870. He didn't try and fight to not be part of Canada. He wanted to bring the right kind of democracy and human rights for Métis and all the residents in that case in Manitoba or Red River at the time. Riel was considered an enemy of the Canadian government and was tried and convicted of treason. He was executed on November 16, 1885. Now days before the 135th anniversary of that day, leaders across the country want Riel exonerated. A similar request was presented back in 2017, but was denied. However, in the age of reconciliation, these supporters say they feel optimistic. And I believe the government is hearing us. I think there is enough of a demand this time that I believe something will happen. In Ottawa, Nigel Newlove, City News.